way, baby. Good morning. I know, that's where we're going. Where are you going, child? Where are you going? Sorry, dog and coins in there. Oh, well, what's because today is Tuesday. They're open on Wednesdays only. Oh, JB wants donut. Okay, well, we have to come over here, don't we? Just looking. Okay. <laughs> it's so pretty. How long have y'all been open? Uh, 18 years. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> so we just moved here in January. So. Uh, okay. Are they? These are cute. Oh, there's people living in these houses. Yeah. Come over here, JB. Girl, just a second, y'all. Let me. I... Baby, look. It's a vlog. So, y'all saw. We were in downtown Forney, minding our, our cute country business, looking at all the landscapes and the pretty houses. Uh, girl, calm down. So those of you who've been following me for a while, let me back up, give you some, some background. Those of you who've been following me for a while, you know that I always tell y'all about my husband and his horrible driving he be doing sometimes, not all the time. And then nearly every year, at one point, it was like every year, like 10 years straight, he will always get in a car accident, no matter what. A car, 80% of the time, it was his fault. There was one time where he hit my car in a garage, backing out. He just got his cataracts done. He hit my car once, twice. I remember it like yesterday because he backed up. First of all, he hit it and I heard JB say, Mama, he hit your car. Uh. So I went out into the doorway of the garage. He's backing up and while we're sitting there, both of us are sitting there looking with our mouth like this. He hits my car a second damn time. Gets out all nonchalant. He's like, oh, if the big ass cataract glasses. <laughs> those big cataract glasses on, or shades on. Talking about, oh, I guess my eyes are still dilating. I'm like, if you don't go sit your ass down. Today, while we are visiting downtown Forney, my mother and I and JB, I get a call and he's like, um, I'm like, hello? He's like, yeah, um, I was trying to, uh, your mama got a scratch on her car. I said, Alex, well, yeah, my, my, my car is scratched too. I, I, what? My car is scratched too. And, um, it's just that my, my car so, so wide at the back and that, you know, and I'm thinking, what the hell? So I stop. I am livid. Cause you want, you want to hit my mama's car. I get accidents happen, but this man has a record. He has a rap sheet of hitting people's cars. So I said, we gotta go. My, my mama's very sweet, y'all. She's just sweetest southern woman. She's like, what is it? I said, he done hit, he done hit my car. I'm sorry, he done hit your car. She's like, can I drive it back to Longview? <laughs> She's so sweet. I said, yes, ma'am, but he, he done hit it, and we need to go see what the damage is. We leave, we go down, get to the house in about 10 minutes, just 10 minutes away, and I see, like, white scratches and stuff, and I'm like, what the hell? And you know how you know how it looks like when someone hits your car and the tire's also messed up? I'm like, what the hell? This is the thing that trips me out. I forgot, I thought that we had parked my mom's car in the garage with his car and I was thinking maybe he was backing up and hit trying to, child, my mama's car was in a driveway, plenty of space. And I said, Alex, we both looked at it and it looked like you had plenty of space, space to back out. He said, no, no, it, I thought so too. But so that's why when I backed up and then I, I went in and backed up again and that's when I was like, what is that that I hit? Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? Look, I can't figure out how to turn on this light. My husband turned off this light in the, um, grabs my coffee. It's Friday, you guys. It's Friday. 
and I'm ready to swing. So y'all, I've been forgetting my camera when we've been going out doing stuff. My mama's still here. <laughs> now she could y'all, but the thing is is that even though I'm talking to y'all in the morning, I'm not a talking to me morning type of person. Like, I, my husband and I don't even, we, we are okay with not speaking to each other for a good two hours after we wake up. Like, I don't, I don't need people to, but my mama is a, my mother is a extrovert, an extreme extrovert. She's on her phone all day talking to people. She talked to at least three or four people on the phone a day. I talk to three or four people on the phone a week, and that's too much. Like, <sighs> so she keeps that same energy, and I'm like, hmm. Thank God J JP's here, but JP's an introvert too, but JP likes attention, so he's a child. Let me go get my coffee, y'all. So it's Friday. A couple of things going on today. Um, I've been up working since, don't judge me, y'all. I've been up working since four o'clock. Baby, my job is, is, it gets like this. It gets really, it's either really, really quiet or really busy. And by quiet, I mean, um, sometimes we'll have like Q1, quarter one, meaning the first beginning of the year. I would honestly work only 10 hours a week now. I'm working almost every day, just and even sometimes on the weekend. And my job isn't the type of job when you do this type of work, which is a lot of system configuration. I get interrupted a lot because I also manage an inbox, so I troubleshoot issues. So like right now, I've been working for about two hours straight, right? No, about an hour and a half straight, like straight work. Then I'll get. When JP gets up or whoever gets up, while I'm working, they don't even bother me. I'll be working. I may get an email. I may get a, a message from someone. I have to stop what I'm doing and answer that right away. Then I put the goal back to the... So you see what I mean? So it's a lot of interruptions. So my actual duties that I do, I get interrupted a lot. So it's been nonstop interruptions, which is why I got up at 4 a.m. to get my work done. So that way, once... Like, they should get up and start bothering me. Meaning work people will get up and start bothering me around 7. I got another hour, and it's going to be interruption. So, but the good thing for today, coffee, hold on. I got my skin, girl. Oh, sorry. The good thing about today is that it's Friday. Now, Fridays are a hit or miss. Typically, it's okay. Sometimes, it's not. Well, I was going to say one of the great benefits about working remotely and because I've been doing it for so long. Look, y'all, I'm a G working remote, remotely. I've been doing this for, I told y'all, eight years. It's been more like nine years. Yeah, almost 10 because I stopped going in when, when I had JB when he was like six months old. So, yeah, almost 10 years I've been working remotely. Um, And so what I was going to say, I can manage everything on my phone, my iWatch. Like seriously, like I don't have to be at a desk working. Well, communicating, talking to people, if that makes sense. Anyway, y'all, today we're gonna be going to pop a dose later on. Look at my nails. I put on these fake little press on nails. They I like the color, but they're popping off some. Going to go to Kilgore to visit my sister tomorrow. Um, because I gotta drop off some edibles for my daddy. <laughs> gotta drop off some edibles for my daddy, and I can pick me up some too. Um and then I'm gonna have her just do my nails. I'm gonna have my sister to do my nails. Look, I haven't had my nails done since the pandemic hit. Like I'm not even playing, y'all. I don't. We're vaccinated and we do all that, and we're but we're still. I don't know. I'm because if I have to have if I have her to do them, then she'll have to fill them, right? I'll just go back up there and have a fill. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I'll just go back up there and have her filling, fill my nails. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Um, I have not stepped into a nail salon in three years. One, I'm very particular about who does my nails, and two, we're in the middle. We're still in the middle of a, of a pandemic. <laughs> I didn't say that. 